in a dynamic country, world, this country is not static. So through urbanization, through uh, modernization, through the movement of people and properties, definitely people are even moving out from outside to the outskirts of Accra. So we'll continue to construct more roads, we'll continue to construct more drains, we'll continue to construct more sea defense, we continue to empower women and children in this country, we continue to enhance our TV schools, we will continue to support the health sector, we continue to pay salaries, we we'll continue to enhance the agric sector so that we all have a very good place to live in. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the President once again for making sure that um, um, the, the military, and for that matter, the security service, the national security, he has provided a lot of equipment, a lot of logistics, and the peace we are all enjoying here is because of some of these structures, some of these equipment, some of these logistics that they need to work and dialogue and compromise. We are enjoying security and peace in this country. Mr. Speaker, once again, I want to thank the President for being so candid with us. Mr. 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 President, you don't hide words. His submission was evidence-based. Everything he's done in this country is there for all of us to know. And I can assure you all of us, and you know, that each one of us sitting here, we have all benefited from this, this government one way or the other in terms of health delivery, in terms of road delivery, in terms of infrastructure, we have all benefited. If you have not benefited from this government, just let your people tell your constituents that 2024 election is not going to be a do or die affair but it's going to be an evidence-based uh, campaign. And uh, Mr. President has once again assured us in his last, in his presentation or to the House that this is a phrase and with every fiber, that's the emphasis, the every fiber of my being, I am certain that this too shall pass. We have done it before and we will do it again. No matter the situation that we are going through as a country, no matter the challenges we are going through after COVID and Ukraine war, no matter the economic situation we find ourselves in, we are not rationing fuel, we are not rationing food, we are not queuing for fuel, there's no doom so, there's peace and security, infrastructure is going on, roads infrastructure is going on, railways is going on, health is going on. And that is the state of the nation that the president told us about. And he wants all of us as Ghanaians to be patriotic and support the president so that come 2024, he will continue to roll out more infrastructure for this country.